Hello, welcome to part two of my bulk growing monotub series. Um, so this is the video you're gonna wanna watch if you have your grain spawn fully colonized and totally covered in that beautiful white mycelium. So to start things off, we are gonna set up our fruiting chamber which begins with lining our bin. So take your plastic bin and flip it upside down so the open part is at the bottom and grab a trash bag and place it over the top. So you're gonna be pinching and folding that extra material of the bag around the edges of the bin to form the shape of the tub. So I grabbed the side of the bag that has the cinch in it and I taped it to the edge of my tub, making sure that there was plenty of material on both sides. So when you get to the other side, you kind of want to pinch and crimp the middle of the material into the corner and fold the extra material over it um, until it feels nice and tight and secure, then tape it. And then do the same thing to the other edge as well. So once you get all of your substrate loaded into your bin, you want that to be about three to three and a half inches total in depth. Um, so I'm going to make a little mark with a piece of tape around the entire bin at about four inches or so. And then I am going to just cut around that because it makes things a whole lot easier. So once you're all done with that, you can flip your bin back over and push the liner that you just made inside and make sure that there's no space in between the bin and the liner. You don't want any of your substrate spilling in there. So you can tape up the liner to the edge of the bin and then grab your colonized grain spawn. I like to cut open the bag and break it up a little bit before I try to move it into a bowl or a different container. Um, just to prevent any messes because it consolidates a lot. So I break it up a little bit and then transfer it into like a different container to break it up some more. I like to massage it um, and just kind of get all of the big clumps unclumped. So once you got all the bigger pieces broken up, you're gonna set that to the side and grab your substrate. There's no particular way that you should layer your spawn or your substrate in your bin, but there are two very popular methods. This first one, we are going to just dump three quarters of the bag of substrate into the bin and then save a quarter of the bag uh, for later. You will need enough to cover the top layer of your bin. So be sure to set that off to the side and then you can dump in your colonized grains and mix that up really well. You want to get the grains as evenly distributed as possible. So get it through the corners and all around the sides and all around the middle. Um, and then just kind of press it down a little bit. You don't want to press it down with all of your might um, or anything, but you definitely don't want any space between your substrate and the bin because water will start to pool there, which is contamination waiting to happen. After you get that all nice and mixed up and evenly distributed, you're going to take that uh, extra substrate that you set aside and layer it over the top. You do not want any grains exposed to any moving air, so make sure you get it all evenly distributed throughout the top of your bin. So that would be what I like to call the dump and mix method. Um, if you want to try a different method, this is what a lot of people call the cookie layer method. So you would take just enough substrate to cover the bottom layer of the bin and then you would sprinkle some colonized grains over it to cover that layer and then just repeat layer of substrate, layer of grains, layer of substrate, layer of grains. Again, you don't need to push down super hard on the substrate because you don't want it to be super compact, but you definitely don't want a lot of space between there. Um, so just give it a nice little push, a little pressure. Um, and then of course you want to end with a substrate layer on top, which is very important. If you were to have a layer of exposed grains on top, which is usually called a frosting layer, um, not only would it increase your chances of contamination, but it could also give you uh, the wrong idea of when you're your bin is actually ready to start fruiting um, because the exposed mycelium on top might start to look like the whole thing's ready, um, but could just be the top layer. So just best to avoid it all and end with some substrate on top. Gorgeous. So I am just going to spray the sides of my bin, not the substrate directly, just a couple pumps on each side. And then I'm going to close the lid and leave it for at least a week and just let nature take its course. Um, I'm gonna keep it in a warm area. About 74 degrees is my preferred temperature. And yeah, so that is part two. Stay tuned for part three and be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on some other things you want me to cover. Thanks for watching.